RB Leipzig have enjoyed a meteoric rise to the top of German football. Beginning life in 2009, after the energy drink company Red Bull purchased the official license of 5th division SSV Markranstedt, the now incongruously named Rasenball Sport Leipzig quickly climbed the pyramid of the German football league system, eventually being promoted to the Bundesliga in 2016. Perhaps surprisingly, current coach Ralf Hasenhertel took over at the club in the summer following their promotion, replacing previous coach Ralf Rangnick who had himself been elevated to the position of sporting director. With both old and new managers involved, RB Leipzig maintained a level of continuity coming into the Bundesliga. Hasenhertel, who had impressed as coach of FC Ingolstadt the season before, was able to persist with the same intense pressing football that he had developed at the Bavarian club. However, rather than using the 4-3-3 formation he had favoured there, he retained the 4-2-2-2 formation, that Rangnick had implemented at Leipzig before him. In the course of Hasenhertel's tenure, RB Leipzig have predominantly set up to play an aggressive form of pressing football, which melds together a form of long ball football with a counter press designed to win the ball back when the long ball breaks down. With the pacey Timo Werner able to latch onto through balls released by more physically commanding strikers such as Yusuf Paulsen or Zion Kivan Augusten, Leipzig tried to put opposition defences on the back foot with high-risk balls into advanced areas. In the event that these balls don't result in attacking chances, a counter-press kicks in, usually initiated through a series of complex triggers, as RB Leipzig midfielders attempt to win the ball back early in a bid to profit from the disorganisation that results when a defence attempts to deal with a long ball. The 4-2-2-2 formation suits this style of play. With structural similarities to a 4-4-2, the 4-2-2-2 consists of a back four in front of which a double pivot of screening midfielders sit. However, rather than these two central midfielders being flanked by more traditional wing players, Ralf Hasenhutl deploys the remaining two midfielders in a much narrower configuration closer to the forward pair. This reduces space between all six forward players, allowing them to hunt in a pack when it comes to the counter press. This vertical compactness does have a downside, however. With the wide midfield players tucked in, Leipzig's counter-pressing hexagonal is required to cover more ground than a standard flat four midfield arrangement. The increase in lateral movement that is required from six forward players means that there is an added physical intensity to the way that RB Leipzig play. This, along with the fact that the East German club qualified for Champions League football after their first season in the top division, has meant that Hasenhutl has reduced the intensity of the press during Leipzig's second season in the Bundesliga at times encouraging his midfielders to retreat into a flat four with the intention of slowing down the opposition before initiating two-on-one or even one-on-one scenarios. Last season, when Leipzig triggered the counter-press, they attempted to pressure their opponents into moving the ball into central areas where they could then aggressively attack the ball carrier as a compact unit. With the opposition centre-back in possession of the ball, Leipzig's two forwards would close off the passing lanes to the full-backs, forcing the ball carrier to play the ball into one of the central midfielders. This season, Leipzig have been far more likely to force the ball into wider areas, using the touchline as an extra defender to reduce the amount of energy required to force a turnover. Now, when the centre-back has the ball, the two forward players stay more central, leaving the passing lane to the full-back open. When the ball is played into the fullback, the press is triggered with the purpose of forcing the fullback into making a risky pass, leading to a turnover. Fundamental to RB Leipzig's unique brand of football is the role of the two central midfielders who make up the double pivot. With important responsibilities in both the attacking and defensive stages of Leipzig's game plan, they are expected to help win the ball back during the counter-pressing phase before recycling the ball into areas from which build-up play for the attacking phase can commence. Liverpool player-in-waiting Naby Keita is indispensable in this regard. Given the fact that Leipzig play in a two-man midfield, in a league that predominantly favours three-man midfields, Keita's own ability to resist an opposition press makes him an invaluable member of the double pivot. Having broken the press, the Guinean international likes to burst between the lines and initiate a quick counter-attack with a series of quick passes between the other forward players. More often than not, Keita has been partnered in the central midfield area by one of Diego Demi or Kevin Campbell. Although either of these two are effective in the pressing phase, their role in possession of the ball is different to Keita's. Dropping in between the two centre-backs, they look to move the ball into one of the full-backs who can then feed a long ball into one of the forward players. 
With this high-octane brand of football, married to a perhaps surprising commitment to only bring young players into the squad, RB Leipzig are breaking the mould in Germany, suggesting that the hyper-capitalist trajectory of the modern game does not have to proceed to the detriment of the football itself. People often ask us where we get our stats for these videos. Uh, a great place to start is the OneFootball app. The app offers a fairly comprehensive statistical coverage of teams and players in-game and post-match. So there's a link in the description of this video if you'd like to download it. Thanks for watching. Mm-hmm.